गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन होप एवरी वन इज स्टेइंग सेफ एंड हेल्दी चिल्ड्रन लास्ट क्लास आई गेव यू दिस टेबल एंड आई टोल्ड यू दैट गो थ्रू विद द टेबल एक्सप्लेनेशन पार्ट आई विल टीच यू ऑन वेडनेसडे सो लेट्स स्टार्ट चिल्ड्रन इन योर सिलेबस दैट इज इन स्टैंडर्ड एट यू हैव टू स्टडी अप टू एटोमिक नंबर ट्वेंटी बट अ न्यू थिंग विच यू हैव टू स्टडी ओवर इ that how to find the valency of a particular element so let me start first the name of the element from atomic number 1 to atomic number 20 it is hydrogen helium here the symbol has been also given lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine neon sodium magnesium aluminium सिलिकॉन फॉस्फोरस सल्फर क्लोरीन आर्गन पोटेशियम एंड कैल्शियम नाउ चिल्ड्रन यू वुड हैव सीन इन योर कॉपी विच आई हैव सेंड यू दैट अटैचमेंट ऑन दैट पर्टिक्युलर डे हियर आई हैव रिटर्न शेल्स दिस शेल्स मीन्स अ पर्टिक्युलर इलेक्ट्रॉन ऑफ एन एटम रिवॉल्व घूमता है different shells and the name of the shells have been given as k l m n before i fill because this i made a blank over here already you are having that but now you will understand why i have given the number 28 28 81 and so on now let me teach you how to fill this shells there was a scientist whose name was bohr neil bohr his name was neil bohr according to neil bohr that is uh, the formula says 2 n square remember children bohr gave a formula which is 2 n square and n he denotes as number of shells up to here i hope it's clear now when i put n equals to 1 means matlab iska number of shell means the first shell n equals to 1 first shell will have how many electron so let me put number 1 over here that is 2 into in place of n i will put 1 first shell 1 square just exactly what is the formula so the first shell will have two electron so if i say this is a nucleus atom ke beech mein center is nucleus and these are the shells first shell so if i say first shell means first shell can accommodate the capability of accommodation of first shell is two electrons that is 1 and 2 it can take 2 or less than 2 but not more than 2 now let me see for the second shell second shell is 2 into 2 square which says 2 into 4 equals to 8 so the second shell will have how many electron 8 so i make here second shell so it will take 8 or less than 8 but not more than 8 so maximum number of electron a shell can take maximum number of electron a shell can take is 8 so 8 that is why we say octet 8 means octet it if it is 8 means it is fully filled it will not take more than 8 in the second shell so here if i have to denote the electrons that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so it can take 8 or less than 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 but not 9 10 11 12 now if i talk about so on first i did second one i did third automatically it will be 
into 3 square that is 9 which is 18. Here you have to understand a little bit. For example, if I have taken uh, calcium which is there in the table, you will, under, uh, you will do it by yourself and you will understand this. Calcium has the atomic number 20. Clear? So I said I have to divide 20. 20 ko divide karna hai shell mein. Kaise? You know first shell will take how much? 2. 2. Done. So 20 minus 2. Still left with 18. Now that 18 I have to distribute. Second shell has a accommodation part of how much? 8. So I gave 8. Now the question arises. Ma'am 8 plus 2 is 10. And the third shell has an accommodation part of 18. So why you are not writing 10 here? Why you are not putting 10 here? It is wrong children. If I put 10 here it's wrong. Here is a rule comes over here. That rule says 288 rule. Kya rule hota hai? 288 rule. Means if the third shell has a capability of 18. It will take 18 or 8. Not 19, not 17, not 16. Means if you want to fill the third shell. You have to see just the front shell. It's a maximum accommodation is 8. So give it maximum accommodation as 8. Because it does not have 18 electron with it. 2, 8, 10. 10 plus 8, 18. And now 2 more left. So they will shift to the next shell that is 2. Over here. If for example I take an example of copper. And copper's atomic number is 29. Now see children. 2, 8, 8 plus 2, 10. Now you will give here 18. It is how much? 18 plus 8 plus 2 becomes how much? 28. Third shell now can take 18 because it has a capability of taking 18. So you give 18. If 18 it has, give 18. If it does not has 18, then you will start with the maximum accommodation that is 8. But for copper, 18 is there. And still I left with 1, so I will give it to the next shell. That is why up to calcium only we have to do. And you have to study the rule that is 288 rule. Means maximum accommodation of an atom to take 8 electron to make that atom to be stable. Now children, the last numbers, what are those last numbers in a shell? When I say, for example, this is my shell, second shell. And the second shell is having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, my electronic configuration goes, first shell, 2, and the second shell, 8. So, its valency will be 0, because it cannot take it cannot give. It is stable now. And fully it is known as a stable atom and also a noble gas. Noble, all cannot be noble. All are stable because they have a certain valency. Here also its valency is zero because it's a noble gas. Noble means inert. Inert means its octet has been full. The last valence shell is full. Means it will not take, it will not give. So those are known as noble gases, which will not give, which will not take. What not give and what not take? Electrons. And their valencies are what children? Always zero. Now you see, here when I start, now it will be easy for you people. Hydrogen has atomic number one. So when I have to put hydrogen in, First shell, first shell has a capability of taking how much electron? Two. So it will take two or less than two. So definitely it can take. It is having one. So this one I will put to the first shell. And my first shell name is K shell. 
I told you the last number you will see for the valency and the last number is here it's only one number so you will put the valency as one. Helium. Helium has atomic number two. So definitely K has an accommodation part of how much? Two. Will it take more than two? No. Less. Okay it has taken but uh, less part you have already shown in hydrogen but two and does it has a capability of uh, taking more? No, zero capability. So it cannot take more. So it's a noble gas. So valency will be zero. Lithium. Yes, lithium. It's three. I have to break the three. How come? Two, first two. And the second is one. I have to see the last shell for the valency. It's one. Now for beryllium. Beryllium it's 4. Automatically you will write first 2. Second has a capability of 8. Less than 8 or 8 but not more than 8. So again you will give 2. Last you will see for the valency that is 2. Boron 5. Distribute 2. 3. Valency 3. Carbon 6. 2. 4. Valency 4. After here, you have to now think for the valency. Last shell you will see. But up to here, when I say, if it is 1, 2, 3, 4 or nil, it will be 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, copy down the same valency. 1, 2, 3, 4. But if it is last shell having 5, 6, 7, 8, so you will subtract that number from 8. Let's check it down. Nitrogen is having how much? 7. Distribute children. First shell capability 2. Second shell capability is 8. But it is having 5. Because 5 plus 2 will be 7. So second shell will take 5. Now I told you last shell if it is having 1, 2, 3, 4. Copy down the same as well in C. But if it is having... 5, 6, 7, 8. For valency, you have to subtract it from 8. So let me minus it. 8 minus 5. What is the valency? 3. You will write 3. Now oxygen, 2, 6. You will see more than 4. 8 minus 6. Valency, 2. Fluorine, 2, 7. 7, that is more than 4. 8 minus 7, 1. Neon, it's 10. So 2, first shell complete. Second shell, 8 complete. It will not take more than 8. So valency will be 0. Very good children. I hope now you will understand. Automatically you will be answering now. 11, that is sodium. Let's see. 2, complete. Next one, 8, 8 plus 2, 10, complete. Now no, both the shell cannot take. You have to move to the third shell. That is again, it's 1. I told you, last shell, if it is having 1, 2, 3, 4, copy down the same. So sodium is having the valency, 1. Magnesium, we'll see, 2, 8, 8 plus 2, 10. And 2, 12. Atomic number is 12. I told you. 1, 2, 3, 4. Copy down the same. So it's 2. Aluminium. 2, 8, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. Copy down the same. So it's 3. Silicon. 14 atomic number. 2, 8, 4. Valency. 4. Phosphorus. 2, 8, then 8 plus 2, 10. 5 more than 4. What you have to do? Subtract it from 8. Then it becomes 3. Sulfur. 2, 8, 6. Subtract it from 8. 8 minus 6. That is 2. Chlorine. 17. 2, 8, 7. 8 minus 7. Its valency is 1. Argon. 2, 8, 8, I told you, it has a capability of 18, but 
If the third shell has been filled with eight, you have to move it to the fourth shell because now it has become a stable atom. It will not take more than eight if it comes as 18, then only it will take. If it is 9, 10, 11, 12, it will not take. It will say, I am not capable of joining with any element. So its valency will be zero. Now potassium. Potassium 2, 8. I told you third will take 8 or 18. 8. And if it is 9, you have to shift to the next shell. So it comes 1 again. So if it is 1, then you have to copy down the same valency, for same number for the valency. Calcium 2, 8. Again the same thing repeats over here. 8, 8 plus 8, 16. 16 plus 2, 18. And here we comes with the last number. That is 2. And you have to copy down the same for the valency. So many times I have used the word valency and children might be thinking, ma'am haven't told us what is a valency. A valency is a combining capacity of an element. An element can combine with other element with these numbers itself. For example, if I have to combine hydrogen plus oxygen, I have to see its valency. Hydrogen valency is 1. Oxygen valency is 2. Then only they will combine because their combining capacity is 1 and 2. You cross multiply and then it will become, this 2 will come with H. So it will become H2 and 1 will come to O. So it will become O1. We never write O1. So it is already understood it is 1. So now your compound comes as H2O. So how does that H2O form? By the combining capacity of these elements. And the combining capacity is only the valency. I hope children now you understood the entire table of electronic configuration. Now I'll give a trick to learn the valency. Let's see. Just remember children, first three valency of hydrogen, helium and lithium. That is 1, 0, 1. After you have learned that 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Ulta jao. 3, 2, 1, 0. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4. Ulta. 3, 2, 1, 0. 1, 2 and so on. Because we have studied up to calcium, so we will stop over here. Let me repeat once more. 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Ulta. 3, 2, 1, 0. And then... 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, 3, 2, 1, 0, 1, 2. This is a trick to learn the valency of different elements. Please children, go through with the table. Once again, any doubt, clear it through campus care because these valency will help you out for the next topic that is chemical properties of metals. Thank you and have a nice day.